Hey there guys, Aaron Baker here and I just want to give you guys an update of the violence. You know, we're two years into this and it's really getting to the people, I think. Um, anyone you talk to is depressed. It's, it's pretty scary and you know the shootings, uh, the hostage crises, it, it's really getting to be uh, out of control. Uh, recently, you know, this uh, Discovery Channel one, turns out the guys from the Pacific Northwest here, uh, they ended up killing him, good thing. Uh, I guess he had some uh, bombs strapped to him and everything. But uh, the Pacific Northwest here, there's actually separatist movements that these lunatics have, these environmental lunatics have. Um, one's called Cascadia, and it uh, the border actually mirrors what our old Oregon country used to be. I'll put links to my uh, both Cascadia and then my channel, the Oregon Country, which I highly oppose all these uh, separatist movements, and it stretches into British Columbia, and it did in in uh, before we had border disputes with the British, of course. Uh, luckily, uh, some Americans settled this land, but still, these British, and this is where a lot of this environmental, extreme environmentalists are coming from, is uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. That's where Greenpeace was started, and I'm sure MI6 is behind this. It was started to oppose uh, America's nuclear um, testing, so there's politics, high politics involved in this, but it's uh it's it's more than this these people actually believe they can take your life they will kill you if you are polluting they feel by killing this person who's polluting they are saving other people's lives because this guy's polluting he's killing people he's killing he's destroying the planet we must kill him to save these people to save the planet we must kill him they will do whatever it takes recently this is this was huge guys you you won't believe this on July 4th the day we celebrate our independence from the British maybe it was a message from these bastards they burnt arson confirmed arson now they burnt down the American Legion post where over 10,000 one of the largest memberships in the Pacific War Northwest per post this American Legion post in Albany arson burnt to the ground I'm gonna quote this was the post commander in this article here I'm gonna quote him it's disgusting this is about the same thing as domestic terrorism I mean we help homeless veterans I mean who how dare anybody Ugh. unquote so these guys are pissed I mean this is just I can't believe Fourth of July, you burn the frickin' veterans post? What? These creeps. Oh, man. Oh.